Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of equations, specifically how we can look for equations for area and volume, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. Well, we have a standard rectangular prism over here, and the equation for volume is fairly simple. Volume equals length times width times height. It's pretty simple. You're going to take your three numbers, and you're going to multiply. So volume is going to equal 6 times 3 times 4. So you can multiply these in any order you want to. I'm going to multiply those two real quick. I'm going to say V equals 6 times 12. So that's going to equal 72. Bring our units back in. And it's going to be centimeters cubed or cubic centimeters because I multiplied 3 centimeters. 1, 2, 3. So our exponent is going to be 3. Now that's the easy part. Sometimes they're going to give you a problem like this, and it's going to look a little bit different. They might give you the volume. They might say the volume equals 72 cubic centimeters, and they might give you the length of 6 centimeters and the width of 3 centimeters. And then what they might do is they might say, how can you find the height? Which equation would work? For finding the height. Now we've already solved this, so we know that our height is going to be 4. But how can you write that as an equation? Well, let's go back to our equation volume equals length times width times height. The divisibility rule of equality says you can divide both sides of an equation, so we have our equal sign right here, by the same number as long as the number is not 0. You can never divide by 0. And both sides will still remain equal. So how does that help me here? Well, I need to isolate my variable. I want to get my height all by itself. And right now it's being multiplied by the length and the width. So I can use the divisibility rule of equality to isolate this variable. I'm going to divide both sides by length times width. And you see what's going to happen here on the right side of my equation is my length times width is going to cancel out my length times width. And that's going to leave me with my height all by itself. So I'll write it a little bit cleaner over here. It looks like volume divided by length times width is going to give me my height by itself, which is what I'm looking for. So you can use the divisibility rule of equality to divide both sides of the equation by the same thing to try to isolate this variable. Now let's plug the numbers in just to make sure it still works. So we think our height is going to be 4 centimeters because that's part of the given that they already gave us. The volume is 72 cubic centimeters. And then our length times width, well, that's going to be 6cm times 3cm. And so if we simplify that a little bit, it looks like 72 cubic centimeters divided by 18 centimeters squared is going to get us 4 centimeters. And that is correct. 72 divided by 18 equals 4. Centimeters cubed divided by centimeters squared is going to give us just centimeters. So you can use the divisibility rule of equality to try to isolate this variable. Let's see what that looks like with a square. So we have a basic square here. The only two equations we know what to do with are area equals side squared and perimeter equals 4s. But what if they gave you both the area and the perimeter? So let's say the area in this case is going to equal 25 and the perimeter is going to equal 20. Can you find the side length by using those two equations? Well, Take a look at this equation right down here. This perimeter equals 4s. If I wanted to find the side length, well, then I can use the divisibility rule of equality, and I can divide both sides of the equation by 4. The reason I would want to divide both sides of the equation by 4 is because that would cancel these out right here. And so it looks like my side length is going to be my perimeter divided by 4. So let's see if that works. My perimeter is going to be 20, so it looks like 20 divided by 4, and that's going to equal 5. So it looks like my side length is going to equal 5. Let's plug that into the area equation, see if that works. Area equals side squared, so let's say it is 5 squared, and does 5 squared equal 25? Yes, it does, so we know this works. Another way to write this would be area equals, remember my side right here? Perimeter divided by 4 squared. I took this right here and I plugged it up into there. 